Well, seems like we got our answer to the biggest question after the Snyder Cut was released. After the Snyder Cut was released, we saw all types of questions like, oh my God, is the Snyderverse going to be restored again? Like, restore the Snyderverse. And I stand by that. I stand with Ray Fisher, hashtag restore the Snyderverse. I want to see this universe. But today, it seems like we got our answer that is not going to be continued and it's very disappointing it's it's very disappointing i'm just going to read what the article says then we're just going to have the little discussion so basically like the the chairman of warner brothers kind of gave her thoughts on it i think her name is ann sarnoff and she basically gave her thoughts on it she called like the fan base toxic and everything like that but we're not going to get into that until later so basically she was just asked like is is there any chance that we could see like the Snyder verse restored or anything like that? That's basically what I'm kind of paraphrasing here. And this was her response. I appreciate that they love Zack's work and we are very thankful for his many contributions to DC. We're just so happy that he could bring his cut of Justice League to life because that wasn't in the plan until a year ago. With that comes the completion of his trilogy. Of course, the, the trilogy is Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice, the Ultimate Cut, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. So that's basically the trilogy that she is talking about. And basically, all the things that were set up inside of the movie are going to have the same fate as the theatrical cut of Justice League. They're going nowhere. And this is also what she said. She added, We're very happy we've done this, but we're very excited about the plans we have for all the multidimensional characters that are going to be developed right now. Okay, so what's the problem with restoring his his universe? If you're going to do a multiverse, why not have the Snyderverse running with Matt Reeves' universe, running with Joaquin Phoenix' universe, running with all of these other you? What is what is the problem here? What what was the is, like? What is the issue of continuing his universe? I get it. It's a cul-de-sac. I get it. You know, toxic fan base, or whatever. You guys receive threats. That is a bad thing. Shame on the people that gave them threats. Like shame on you guys. Because that is not how we represent Zack Snyder. That's not how we represent our own fan base. So yeah, like I said, it's very disappointing. Because obviously, I want to see more of this universe. I wanted to see Ben Affleck solo Batman movie. I wanted to see Deathstroke in that movie. I wanted to see Joker in that movie also. I want to get a Man of Steel too. I want to. I, I want to see this universe. I want to see this team again. And I know a lot of other people want to see this team and this universe again. And the, the team and the universe that Zack Snyder conceived. The whole issue was was that you guys got poor receptions from BVS. And I mean, I get it from a business standpoint. I'm trying to see both sides here. From a business standpoint, I get it. You know, you don't want to have any negative feedback from your films or you want to keep them generally positive. But at the same time, the vision that Zack Snyder had was going to collide in this big trilogy of Man of Steel, BVS, and then collide into Justice League. You guys didn't let him do solo films for these characters. They had to be pushed into BVS, and then they had to be developed and fleshed out inside of Justice League. How was he going to do that? That was my main issue. What was the what was the problem with Zack Snyder's Justice League? You just you guys just gave us the exact same film with the theatrical version. You guys brought in a director that worked on Age of Ultron that made billions of dollars. And that film doesn't even get that many positive reviews. I know a lot of people like it. I love the movie. But Age of Ultron is among a lot of people as the one of the worst MCU films. Why would you bring in someone who doesn't even have the same tone as Snyder? Oh, because you want to change his vision because you didn't like the film that he created. Look at the world. This is the highest rated Zack Snyder DC film. This is the highest rated comic book film. I think it's on, on IMDb. It's the highest rated comic book film. Higher than Infinity War and Endgame, which I think is way better than this film, than Zack Snyder's Justice League. So, to me, what was the issue? What was the problem? So I've talked about the Zack Snyder Justice League on the regular podcast, and I'm going to upload a clip later of the WB concerns of like my overall deal with WB and the Joss Whedon situation. But this is a short answer. WB, what are you doing? Okay, you say that we're focusing on other characters. Now, what, a Zantana movie? Like, you guys just released that you, you have a, like a writer or director to do a Zantana movie. WB, you guys are your own worst enemy. I get it. You're going in a different direction. DCEU and separate stories. That's great. That is great. That's different from Marvel. But don't rob the fans of this experience. I want to talk to the fans for a minute right now. The Snyder Cut didn't exist. 
there was scenes shot, there was a completed movie, but it wasn't pieced together, it wasn't edited together as a feature-length film. There was scenes that were just not edited together. There was not a, a real Snyder cut. And the fact that they gave Zack Snyder money to complete it, I feel like we should be satisfied. But the way they handled it, no, we will not be developing air cut. Okay, I can deal with the air cut thing. I can't accept that. I want to see the air cut. The reality is, guys, the Snyder cut wasn't going to happen. Just from her saying that, yeah, we're not moving on with the Snyderverse, which that is the paraphrased version of it. We're not moving on with the Snyderverse. Her saying that, that proves that the Snyder cut wasn't going to happen. The only reason why it happened was because HBO Max. And then if HBO Max opened up to like the smashing numbers, then yeah, we wasn't going to get the Snyder Cut. But the fact that HBO Max did exist and that it didn't open up with smashing numbers, that made them all the more eager to put the Snyder Cut out there and just be done with Snyder. Because we all know how Snyder films are received. Half of the audience liked it, half the audience hated Man of Steel. The majority of the audience and critics hated Batman vs. Superman. In my opinion, I believe that we should keep the Snyderverse going. Because the stuff, the groundwork that they laid inside of Zack Snyder's Justice League showed that Zack Snyder plants hints and he leaves stuff open inside of his films that will lead into other films and it will make a lot more sense. Everything that happened in Man of Steel connects directly to BVS in which BVS directly connects to Zack Snyder's Justice League. But you know what? Fan base... Zack Snyder fans, Snyderverse fans, don't give up, okay? Don't give up. No matter what they say, no matter if they say the Snyderverse is not happening, Era Cut is not happening, no, we're going to keep campaigning for it to happen. I, I will, I'm still going to campaign for it to happen. I stand with Ray Fisher, release the Air Cut, and restore the Snyderverse. Because the DCEU was something that was just so fascinating, what was the problem, W? What was the issue with releasing this movie that Zack Snyder did? It was the same as the theatrical. You guys just wanted to marvelize it. Because you guys wanted a Marvel movie. I can defend the fan base because... Yeah, we were robbed of something great. And if the Snyder Cut never happened, if Zack Snyder didn't get to do his vision, we would have been robbed of a great thing. So I, for one, cannot wait to see what the future holds for the Snyderverse because no matter what they say, it's it's not over. It can't be over. It should not be over. But comment down below, guys. What do you guys think about all of this news? I know I rambled on a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's such a disappointing thing just to see that. And then directly underneath it, you see that somebody has been tapped as writer for a Zantana movie without even Constantine. You don't have Constantine, but you're, you don't... You don't want to give us a Man of Steel 2. You'd rather reboot Superman and not give us a Man of Steel 2 and not give us a Justice League 2 or 3 or a Cyborg movie who Cyborg is the best character inside of Zack Snyder's Justice League, the heart of the film, and one of the most fleshed out characters inside of the DCEU. You would rather throw all of that away and give us a Santana movie. A Santana movie. That's one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard. You're talking about you're having good ideas and, and bigger ideas for the multiverse of DC. No, you're, you're no, no. We want to see a connected universe with these characters that we love. And Zack Snyder's Justice League teased us a bigger universe with the dark side as the big bad. We want to see this. But all that being said, check out the regular podcast, the Zack Snyder's Justice League. Spoiler review is there. That link is in the description. It's going to pop up on your screen right now. Also, check out that Twitter. That's going to pop up on your screen right now as well. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.